Let it be known. Kratos and Freya are probably the worst hair cutters in the Nine Realms. Uh, Nidhogg just did want it a little bit off the top, and that's what ended up happening. So, we're going to go ahead and move on. Uh, Freya is now free to walk about the realm. And I think... Uh, she could be... An ally? Question mark? We're going to find out. Uh, I wonder if those Einherjar are going to be coming back. Over there. We can take this way back to the camp. Sweet. I can help with the oh, look at that. Tis an ally. Now embed your blades into the glowing vines and light it. Giggity. <laughs> Your brother seemed open to your return. Oh, I'm sure he'd love nothing more than for everything to go back to how it was. Leaving the responsibilities of leadership to me. I mean, he seems more the uh, carefree type. I don't know if he's necessarily suited for leadership. At least this version of uh, Freyr. See, we're surrounded by plants. I'm assuming we might come across more that want to poison. Being introduced to the runic arrows. Totally a fan. Regards. You use your anger effectively. Well, you learn to use what you have. Hell yeah, you do. Let's see. Just checking. Probably don't need to be checking. I shouldn't be checking. Ooh, I recognize this whole area. That will be for later. It's not as though I want to be angry with Freyr. He's my brother. He was the most important person in the world to me for half my life. I was just checking. I didn't know if, like, uh... Because I always did this, even in my solo play. And, um, I, I wasn't sure if the axe could also freeze the plants. I mean, it just makes sense that they would get burned away, so I always stuck with it. These plants are the same as those we saw earlier. Frost should make quick work of their poison. Love it. <laughs> Oh, 
I know what's going on. Okay. Now the sigil should hold the frost, even in the axe's absence. Well done. Yeah. That's why that's useful. Um I don't Well, there's a there's a thing here. You son of a bitch. Kratos, I see something. Oh, look at that. You're like helping me with looting? What is this? Who are you? It's like Kratos, look, I see something. Oh my god. It's amazing, isn't it? We like loot. Look, something else we can bond over. We could be friends, because we both like looting. I think I see another chest up there. Watch out, those are wisps. Powerful manifestations of runic magic. There we go. Could I ever think of this place as home again? After Aww. all that's happened. I mean, there's no rush. Just take your time. You've got a ton of freedom now. I don't remember if the mission is to go to every realm and try and find a knot. Ooh, I recognize this. Wait, Skull and Hottie are in Vanaheim? We learned the giants rescued them from Odin and brought them here. And look. The sunlight wakes the sleeping roots. See how they stretch to welcome the sun? Beautiful, no? A far cry from the sheets of Midgard snow I've grown accustomed to. The Eastern Migration. It's just as I remember it. At least the whole realm hasn't fallen to predators and occupiers. I guess there's still something to be fought for here. Something to defend, even after so much damage has been done. Maybe that goes for Freyr, too. You never know. Looking on the bright side of things, look at you growing as an individual. Oh, shit. I remember you. There we go. So I think I had a bitch of a time last time. That was like one of the things that I had to try and remember. I always had to follow those purple roots. So, other than that, oh, yeah, uh, the other day, um, probably about two weeks from now, uh, I'll be telling you all this. Oh. What is this? I don't know. But giants definitely crafted it. There's two wolves represented here. Perhaps a connection to our friends in the sky. A mystery for another time. Yup. Total mystery. No idea what it is. Oh. I think I'm starting to realize where I am. Unless I could be wrong. There's a very good chance that I'm wrong, but... Maybe I'm not. I don't know. Uh... So, um, I went to go see the, uh, that D&D &D movie. Uh, Honor Among Thieves. My sigils can break through their shields! They're defenseless now! Oh, 
There we go. We love that. Is that all the combat? Are we good now? We're friends? Nobody else wants to fight? I'm okay with that. So, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, uh, I got to see the new D&D so movie. What's happened since I last saw Freyr? I'm not even sure where to begin. What do you want from him? An apology would be a start. I want to forgive him. I'd like to think he's changed. He's all I have left now. Did you ever apologize to Demos? It is difficult to seek forgiveness when you feel unworthy. The uh, the movie was pretty entertaining. Like not that bad. Um, it's it's of course not well, going to be the. Get across. It's not going to be like a, a theatrical masterpiece or something. But I mean. Something entertaining. Like, I was definitely a fan. My sigil arrow should be able to carry the fire across the river to reach the bramble. Oh, well, son of a bitch. That didn't work out. Let's do that. And do that. Hey. Ah. Ah. This can be powerful, even for the unworthy. My wife, Faye, taught me that. Hmm. Well, be glad you have a spouse to remember fondly. Take that. This area will come in handy later. But until then, we shall press on. So, uh, but yeah, uh, kind of like diving into the whole D&D world and all that stuff has been tons of fun. Um, I think uh, you'll remember when... I think you'll remember when um, Ben and I, we talked only about uh, Elden Ring. And I kind of feel like that's the same thing with, uh, with all this. Yeah! 
It's almost like we're getting better at this whole thing. I mean, who the hell wants that? Am I supposed to go... Nope, that's a dead end. Because I did see... this. All my former spouse taught me was that there's no limit to the depths to which a soul can sink into darkness. Tricked me into marriage to spare my home and took my home just the same. Scattered my people to the wind. Maybe it's time somebody drew the line. Maybe it's time someone makes Groa's prophecy come true. I will not wish for war, Freya. War is a terrible thing, Kratos. But some things are even worse. You know, if Atreus rushes to Ragnarok, you may not be able to stop him. I will. And if you fail? I have prepared him to survive without me, if he must. Watch for the plants. They like me, but strangers, not so much. I see that. You won't be able to damage it without destroying the mother. It's a large, bulbous thing. You can't miss it. Alrighty. do that. Son of a biscuit. Because I really just don't want this thing to keep hitting me. Hello? Why the hell are you not working? <laughs> Whatever. I'll have to kill it another time. I'm not gonna sit here and do that stupid thing when I've already got the chest. <clears throat> oh hey, I've already done this thing. And look at that, I think we finished up this area. So what's next for you, if not preparing for war? I do not know, but I will take no chances with Atreus. Well, you may want to think fast, unless you want someone to make that choice for you. Very true. I mean, Atreus is, I mean, we've, we, we know, but Atreus is kind of uh, doing his own thing a little bit. Kratos doesn't exactly have like a 100% a grasp on everything. And I know there was a, a raven that I missed back there. But Ready? As I ever will be. We're not trying to do everything at the moment. At last. Yes. Uh, 
Let's celebrate. You reclaim the throne, we'll rebuild me and you against the world. Huh? Just like the old days. I'm not staying. I don't understand. You're here. Maybe together we can take back what's ours. I only just got back what's mine. I still have work to do. You've seen what's left of the realm, right? Do we really mean that little to you? You question my loyalty? Vanaheim turned its back on me. Oh, you still can't let go of that old fight. It was my duty to save as many of our people as possible. My responsibility. One you didn't take seriously then, and from the looks of it, one you don't now. You think this is a game to me? Yeah. <sighs> we lost everything to that maniac you called husband. The man's family set me on fire. How did you expect me to react? Like my brother. Like the boy that used to have my back no matter what. And who I always supported no matter how selfish his choices. I expected you to come and find me. That no matter how hurt or angry, you wouldn't abandon me. Freya, please. I... I thought you were dead. I've had to live lifetimes with those last awful words I said to you. Have you any idea what that's like? Knowing that your own selfishness hurt the person that you cared about the most. Abandon you. Oh, Freya. I mourned you. Oh, I've missed you so much. And I, you envy. But I won't bind myself to another realm when I finally have my freedom. I'll send help, though. And I will come back. I promise. This hasn't been your home for a long time, has it? Do what you gotta do. All right, all right, that's enough. Ain't y'all got nothing better to do than gawking at family sorting squabbles? Come on, you two. Yeah, they were all just chilling in the background. You saw Not it. Not you. <laughs> got a few things to square with y'all. First is you collecting your spare heads. Second is that sigil magic I smell on your boat. Reckon that's an idea I'll steal. How's about I set you up with some sonic mojo? Call it a trade. Very well. Third of all, if and you ain't staying here, Bears mentioning that Sindri and I find ourselves running a flop house for unemployed gods. If you're done freezing your backside off in Midgard, maybe come back with Beardo there. Check up on your old pal Tyr. That's kind of you, Brock. I may do just that. Well, all right then. I'll meet y'all back at the house. Lesson you want me to fix anything up first. I mean, I want. Well, I, brother, I might want that. Well, brother, here to meet our new allies. Or shall we depart? 
So let's go ahead and grab this. You suppose that big fella retreating with might want to help me with a thing? Mayhaps. Now and again, he's in the mood to make useful. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. May I? How did a traveler come to follow my brother? I was broken when he found me. The truth I'd pledged my life to, it was a lie. Lord Freyr put what was left of me back together. Give me something real to believe in. That's Freyr, the Lord of Second Chances. He saved me, gave me a family, a purpose, and I will gladly die for both. Thank you. He's lucky to have you. Tell me about the camp dog. Lord Freyr found her half dead in the jungle. She probably escaped the Blothundr breeding farm north of here. We all told him she was beyond saving, but he never gave up. She healed and hasn't left us since. She's a sweet girl. <laughs> She's pure of heart, believes in your goodness, even if you don't. It's your puppish. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and end the episode next to the puppy, because why not? Uh, I have been Grayson. This is, of course, God of War Ragnarok for PlayStation 5. Uh, hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and if you have, you could, of course, do the whole like, comment, subscribe type deal. And I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, if you want more content, I am also part of the D and Dark podcast. You can scroll down below, see all the blue little squigglies, and click on one of those. And you'll either find the episodes, you'll find our website, you'll find some of our socials. And hopefully you'll join it, or subscribe, or follow, or whatever the hell it is. So, until then, I hope you do, of course, take care of yourselves, take care of each other.